So today I want to go over this platform that allows you to create USD, JPB and Euro accounts to withdraw your money. This is for those of you who are freelancers who use PayPal or Payoneer or use sites like Fiverr and Upwork to actually do work. This site is going to help you in withdrawing your money. I know that there was another option that most people used but this is a new one and I've seen a lot of amazing reviews. So what I'm going to do today is go over the site with you, go over the registration process, how everything works so that you kind of understand it and get to use it for yourself. The name of the platform is geekpay.africa and as you can see here on their website, they said this is the digital financial platform for the gig economy. It allows you to create foreign accounts to receive payments for your gigs. You can automate employer billing, debit cards for easy spending, exchange foreign currency, exchange foreign currency to local currency and build your credit score. Now I've heard a few people say amazing things about this platform and overall just visiting the website and looking through it, it actually looks pretty good. It looks like something that has a long term potential. They have virtual cards available, they have bank accounts for you to receive your money and even on their Twitter page as well, I saw a lot of amazing stuff about them. So we're going to quickly go over this site and just see what it is all about. So I'm going to open an account and then I'm going to just sign up like a new user. So I'll just put in my details, probably blur this part out so you guys don't see all my details. So just head over to the website. The link will probably be in the description as well. Just enter all your details, confirm your password. Um, I don't have a referral code and then click on continue. Okay. So I think you have to input your full name. Don't leave any part out. Okay. And then click on continue. All right. So they're going to send an email verification code to my email. Let me just quickly get that for my email and enter it here. So I just received the, the verification code on my phone. I'm going to enter it over here. All right. So I'm already inside the dashboard. I just created my account and as you can see, I find the dashboard pretty interesting. I like how it looks so far. It looks pretty good. You can see there is the status bar at the top. There's a button to send money and you can see the exchange rates as well. So for me, the main thing I, I'm sure most people will be looking for now is to create their virtual bank account. So I'm just going to head quickly through the menu and just look at what they have. So I'm guessing this is a dashboard. Transactions will be empty. Obviously, invoices will be empty cards. Okay, so you can create a new card here and then accounts. So I'm going to do that right now. Click on create a virtual account. It says I need to complete my profile setup. So let's go ahead and do that. Update profile. I'm going to enter all my details here. Probably blow this part out and come back when I am done. I'm going to use my Nigerian details for this. So I'm just going to quickly fill in all these details. So I just enter my occupation and then upload proof of address. So proof of address, it says must be within the last three months and less than five MB. So I think I'm just going to get one of my recent bank statements and use here. I have one that is recent enough, so I'll just get it and upload here. If you're enjoying this video so far, do make sure to leave a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel so that other people can benefit from the content on this channel. Also, I'm going to leave an Easter egg somewhere in the video. I'm going to leave an emoji somewhere inside the video 
so if you find that emoji i'm gonna have something special for you so just make sure that you watch out for it tell me the minute when you see that emoji and i'm going to have something special for you all right thank you and let's get back to the video okay so i'll just click on continue then my nationality fill in all these details gmt plus one fill in my date of birth and then says phone number is optional but i'll say enter my phone number just to be on the safe side and click on complete okay so it says it's complete now i need to verify my identity so let's click on that click proceed if you have your nin national id card or voters card use passport okay so i have my passport i'm going to upload that Okay, so it says to get verified, you need to use a smartphone. So you have to scan the QR code with your camera app. Uh, there's two options actually, but I want to go with the first one, the camera on. So let's use that. So I'll just snap this on my phone. And on your phone, it actually opens up a page for you to get verified, for you to scan your passport okay so i'm just gonna pull up my passport real quick and scan the document so it says that i need to do it from a country that is supported because i'm outside nigeria right now it allows me to use my nigerian details so i'll just have to use my nigerian details on um, my phone yeah so this is a screenshot of what it looks like probably put it up on the screen but yeah, so I'm going to scan my stuff right now. And then it's asking for a selfie. So I have to take a selfie. So it asked me for my passport. That's my passport document. And then it asked me for my photograph. I have to take a photograph, okay? So we've done that. And now it says my verification data has been successfully submitted. I'll get the results shortly. Click on continue. And boom, just like that. Wow. So everything shows it's completed, completed. It says awaiting confirmation. But it looks like everything is pretty much done. That was really, really fast. So I have to upload the speed of their system. I have to upload it it's actually moved really fast you can see the verification was done without any error so as far, as long as you have the documents that are required everything should go smoothly up to this point so let's see if they will allow me to create an account right now I'll click on accounts and then click on create virtual accounts choose currency i'm going to go with usd first and then click on create Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see what happens. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, do make sure to leave a like on the video and also just drop a nice comment for me. All right, guys, I don't know what happened, but the browser just stopped working and then it's loaded again. But as you can see here, I've been able to generate my virtual bank account. So you can see these are the bank details. Let me just click on it. And sure enough, the bank details are here. I'm going to blow it out, obviously, or except you want to send me money, I'll then give you the details. But it was really fast. I have been able to generate my USD virtual account details so essentially they say you can use this to withdraw and a lot of reviews and testimonials on their twitter page says that these details actually work people are using it to withdraw money from paypal 
using it to withdraw money from other freelancing websites as well so that was it it was really fast you can see everything literally took less than 20 minutes from signing up to getting your account so i would encourage you guys to actually check this out and let me know how well it works for you so if you enjoyed this video do make sure to leave a like on it and you know say something nice to me in the comments and just tell me what's your experience like using this platform let other people know let other people learn from your experiences thank you so much for watching this video before we go i'm also going to leave something like a hidden easter egg somewhere in the video i'm going to leave an emoji somewhere so anybody that finds that emoji i am going to give the person something special so if you find the emoji somewhere in this video just comment the minute where the emoji is in this video and i will send you something special all right so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video